Why did you do it? I warned you not to. Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god! You, you didn't seem that angry before. What does that mean, exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. Well... I didn't really trust Morgan to do it, to be honest. You don't even believe in the ancient elven gods. I don't believe they were gods, no, but, but I believe that they existed. Something existed to start the legends. If not gods, then mages. Or spirits. Or something we've never seen. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'm not arrogant enough to think it's my decision alone. Whatever happens, we'll do it together. You think to share your power. To avoid the temptation to misuse it. A noble sentiment, but ultimately a mistake. Why? Because while one selfless man may walk away from the lure of power's corruption, no group has ever done so. I trust my friends. I know that mistake well enough to carve the angles of her face from memory. Why is this so important to you? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You must not let false modesty allow you to pass your power to someone else. There are few regrets sharper than watching fools squander what you sacrifice to achieve. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Thank you, Solus. We couldn't have done this without you. You are welcome.